Academy. Now in our course, we teach you how to shrink film. In this video, we're gonna show you three methods of how to shrink film and kind of see which one works best and which one is easier to use. Now we do have videos before about why we shrink, but just a little bit of a recap. Film is flat, glass is curved. When I put this film on the glass, it's gonna create these little things called fingers. If I were to go and install my film right now, this film would not be a clean install when we get these fingers here. So shrinking prepares the film for install, so the film lays flat on the glass. Now the first method I'm going to show you is what's called a dry or wet shrink with the letter N. So with this piece of film here, I'm going to spray it underneath, then I'm going to lay my film. I want as much film on the glass as possible. So I'm going to leave about an inch gap here and an inch gap here. Once I make that set up, I'm going to hardly tack that in and come across the top and tack that in. As you can see here, we have the letter N. Once I make my letter N, I'm going to do a light squeegee down trying to get all that excess slip solution out. Now you can see here, I have these fingers that popped up. If I were to do this without shrinking it, I would get these fingers upon my install. Now, we want you to shrink every window out there. If you do not get these fingers, we can add a little bit of tension to the, to the film. I'm going to do my hard tack, hard tack across the top. Once I make this here, I'm going to add a little bit of tension inward so I can drive these fingers up. Then I'm going to block that in. Then I'm going to do my light squeegee across here. Now we can see here, this finger popped up. Our goal is with the heat gun. Now the secret to the heat gun is we need about 1100 degrees Fahrenheit to get rid of these fingers. So next thing is, these fingers need to go straight vertical up. If this finger comes on a 45 degree angle or any angle is not vertical, I apply heat, press down. It's going to crease that film and damage it. So you have to redo it. So take my heat gun, three seconds, about an inch off the glass, and then I'm gonna push down. If I don't have any fingers, so there's another one that just popped up here, I'm gonna test out this film to see if they popped up. So I'm gonna take my heat gun, go slowly on the bottom of the film. Now the angle of my heat gun is very important. I don't want to come up because I can burn the film. I want to stay over top about a half an inch up. Once I've done that once, I'm gonna spray it down, spray it underneath the film, then I'm gonna create my end, and I'm gonna push all that slip solution out to make sure we got a good shrink. Again, in our courses, we always suggest that you shrink this twice, just to make sure that these fingers don't pop up. Now, if I take this film off the glass, we can see these squiggly lines. Those are called our shrink lines. When I go to install this film, it's gonna follow the curvature of the glass. Our next one over here, we're gonna do this on this front window. This is called our wet shrink with a half snap. So with this method of shrinking, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna anchor, come across the top, and come across the bottom. Then I'm gonna do a light squeegee to push all that excess slip solution out. I'm gonna do the same method over here, making sure that I get rid of all these fingers. Now, once I got rid of all these fingers, I'm gonna do what's called a half snap. So with my finger like this, I'm gonna come up underneath the film, and I'm gonna bring it off the glass slightly in that snap motion. I'm gonna run my heat gun about four or five inches up for three to five seconds. Once I do that, I'm gonna push it down with my hands, then take my hard squeegee and push everything down. Now we have a couple more fingers popping up, so I'm gonna push all the rest of this down. This is gonna create a snap in the film, so when I go into my install, it's gonna curl up into the glass, letting it to lay flat onto the glass. So now our third and final shrink, it's called our snap shrink. This is a little more difficult and it has more room for air, meaning I can burn the film. When I do my previous two wet shrinks, I have the film right on the glass, so the glass is gonna help absorb the heat so it doesn't burn the film. This one, I'm gonna take the film off the glass. So here, I'm gonna do a light anchor, just like my end, across. Once I make that anchor, I'm gonna spring this up slowly and curl the film up. I'm gonna bring my heat gun four to five seconds across until we get all these squiggly guys here. Once I get the four to five seconds across, I can see all that film is sitting flat on the glass. If I were to go press it down, it's gonna sit flat on the glass. So I would do this a couple times. Now I'm getting a finger on the top there, so I need to do this again. I'm gonna spray underneath the film. 
and I'm gonna do a light end across. Then I'm gonna snap it up. So I'm gonna snap that film up, do a light four to five seconds across. Once I hit my four to five seconds, I'm gonna bring everything down. As you can see, that film is sitting nicely flat on the glass without any fingers. So again, my risk here is that I'm bringing off the glass with nothing to absorb. If I come too close or too much heat, it's actually gonna cause that film to burn and become right up off the glass, which means you have to redo. So we did three methods of installation. We did our draw, wet shrink with the end, wet shrink end with a half snap and a full half snap method. My personal favorite is the first method we did. Less room for air and gets rid of most of those fingers. Our snap method, once you're more professional and done this for a couple of weeks, it is a better install and it's a lot quicker. So if you're doing a lot of jobs throughout the day, I can get through this shrink a lot faster than I can my, my previous shrink. So test out those three methods, see what you like the best, and let us know down in the comments. Uh, it's caught in the crossfire.